kids. Come on. Welcome home, Life Community. Come on, stand your feet. You had a great service, first service. I believe that God's going to do something great in this one here. We ask that you just come and expect God to do something in your life. So maybe you didn't walk in thinking anything other than the fact that you were just here to come to church. But can I just challenge you right now, right at the beginning part of this worship service, to expect God to do something in your life. It, is, it, just, it seems impossible to encounter the real and living God, the creator of all things, to really have a bet your life encounter and not have something change in your life. So we're here to encounter him, to worship him in spirit and in truth with all that we are in the hopes that we may know him better than our relationship might go deeper and that our lives may be changed in him. Alright, here we go. We're going after him. Take it!
Lord, because I'm not asking for money. What I am asking for is this. I have a new group of people right here, right now, that will do something with me. We're going to pray in just a moment. But you would say, with me today, in this place, Pastor, I'm going to be willing for the next uh, hour and 15 minutes to set aside my concerns, my distractions, the things that... And, and I'm going to have faith enough to believe for a miracle for somebody else. Yes. Amen. Yes. Okay, I, I need people that you're saying, I'm willing to do that. And not everybody, but you said, Pastor, I'm willing to pray right now and be one of those people that together we're going to see what God will do. If you want to be one of those people, why don't you raise your hand right now? Lord, your word says that where there are two or three, there's a lot more than two or three here. Look at us, we're in agreement, and you said that we could come in agreement, but this is our agreement today, Lord, that we're not looking at ourselves, we're not looking at our own finances, we're not looking at our own health issues, that God, we believe that you want to come in this place and be glorified through your son, Jesus. Lord, it's not about the name of this church, it's not about a ministry, it's not about a person. Jesus, be glorified in this place. Be glorified in this place. That as we come together collectively, Lord, that we have faith beyond ourselves. That you are a great God and you, in this place, desire to do great things. So come in our midst today and do great things in this place. And we're going to give you the glory and the honor and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.
I believe in the virgin birth, and I believe in saints' communion, and in your holy church. I believe in the resurrection.
Church is not a man. Say it with me. Church is not a man. So what that means is this. We come to church and we say, I want to be a light in the world. You know, we can't be light in the world if we're not light in the church. Amen. Amen. And so we come to church and we say, well, I don't want to come off flaky, or I don't want to come off this, or I don't want to come off that. Can I tell you something? Be you. Amen. But better yet, be Christ in you. Amen. And allow him to come and work through you in a mighty way. So here's what we're going to do. We already believe today. We all said, well, we're believing that God's going to do great things in people. How many agree with that? Yes. So why not start now? Find somebody near you. Bless them. Tell them how glad you are to see them today. Love them. Show the love of Jesus to them today. Amen. 